800 CHAB is proud to present Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. Do you travel Saskatchewan highways in the wintertime? Then you should prepare a winter survival kit for you and your family. Even if you make short trips, water, food, and a candle could literally save your life if you get stranded. Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance is on Ask the Expert. Uh, The first and probably the most important item to put in there uh, is food. Uh, Usually it should be something that is a high energy, something like an energy bar that will last throughout the winter. Uh, Water is another one that you should have. What I do is get a milk jug, just fill it about three quarters full because you know as well as I do in the winter time, these things are going to freeze, they'll expand. So you want to make sure that you've only fill it up about three quarters so there is room. And only use it for six months, change that every six months. Another important item, a blanket in the event you have pastors there and they don't have extra clothes, uh, have that there. As well, you should have extra clothing such as a snowmobile suit and shoes, gloves that will be able to provide you warmth in minus 40. The other thing that I suggest that you should have always is a first aid kit. Along with that first aid kit, never really thought of it that much, but uh, you should have a seat belt cutter, and it should be up in your front council somewhere. In fact, I actually had a client actually had an accident here recently, was in a vehicle, couldn't get out, used the seat belt cutter, actually used a jackknife to get out, and was able to go and help assist a person that was in another vehicle. Also, you definitely want a small shovel because uh, who knows how much snow we get in. Uh, It can get you out of a situation. Scraper, snow brush. Also, candle in a deep dish with matches. Another thing that you want is a wind-up flashlight, preferably. If you do have a flashlight with batteries, uh, separate those the batteries out of the flashlight. Keep them in a plastic bag so that uh, they don't deteriorate over the winter time. As well, whistle. A lot of people know even think of this, Rob, uh, in case you need to attract people, whether you can't get out of the car or the car's full with snow on either side, you can at least roll down the window. The other thing is road maps uh, with all the electronic devices these days. People aren't used to reading road maps. They're used to that, but your battery could die. You could lose that. Uh, Another thing that you should, or another list of things that you should always keep in your truck, sand, uh, salt, Kitty litter, uh, again, the non-clumping kind. Uh, Antifreeze should be in the back as well because, you know, you could be getting where it's above that zero. You get that slush, and all of a sudden you're out of windshield washer, antifreeze, and you can't see it. Very important that you have that there. Tow rope, in the event you get stuck, and jumper cables, you know what it's like. 40 below, car won't start. There's always in Saskatchewan someone willing to give you a boost. Good idea as well, uh, year-round is a fire extinguisher. You never know if there's an accident, fire could start. Something else, warning light or road flares, just in the event uh, something happens, evening time, either uh, your car breaks down and that, just to lay them out just so that people can see you. So these are the things that we suggest that you do have. Uh, we will have this online at nohassleinsurance.ca. Greg Marcinek on 800 CHAB's Ask the Expert from Heritage Insurance. Greg, one more thing that I've heard a number of times over the years, never leave your vehicle. If you're stranded in your vehicle, your best chance at survival in the wintertime in Saskatchewan is to stay within the shelter of that vehicle. That's right, Rob. Just do not leave the vehicle because after a period of time, people know that you are going to be gone. And again, good point. You should let people know where you're going and what time you're estimated to arrive so that if there is a problem, they can notify the authorities. The authorities can go out. They will search. They will find you. So just stay put. That's the best words of advice for you. You can get the complete list of what your emergency preparedness kit should include uh, on your website again. That's correct. NoHassleInsurance.ca or come down to the corner of Fairford and First Avenue West, one with a red truck on the roof, and talk to any of our fine staff here. Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance on Ask the Expert. This has been Ask the Expert on 800 CHAB. 